Hello everyone and welcome to Azam Sharp Weekly and in this small video I'm going to show you how you can format date time when using SIFUI. Now there are many different ways of formatting so I'm not going to cover all of them but I'm going to cover a lot of them so that it will be very helpful in your SIFUI applications. Now one of the things you will see that when you are trying to format date and time, and if you have date and time, so you can see over here if I just create a date object, and I can say format it, and it will automatically format it right inside the view. Now, for this particular case, what I want to do is to create a small variable so that I don't have to type, you know, now all the time. I can simply create that, and now I can simply use now.formatted. So let's go ahead and see how it actually looks like when we are formatting date time. This is how it will look like if we simply call formatted. Pretty cool, nice and easy to use, right? So we can go ahead and probably write over here how it is formatting, or I'll give you the, the text so that you will understand. Okay, so that's the first way of formatting the, uh, the text or the date time. Now there are some other ways, maybe you want the formatting where the date is omitted and you only want the time. So how do we do that? So now dot formatted, and you can see that the formatted actually takes in the date time style, date style and the time style. For the date, since we don't really care about the date, you can simply pass an omitted and for the time you can simply pass standard. So it's going to give you only the time as you can see. Let's go ahead and do a little bit differently. Maybe you want your date to be abbreviated and your time to be complete. So using the same approach, you can simply say now.formatted and for the date, you can say abbreviated and the time can be complete. So you can see that the time value will be a little bit more larger uh, with the second showing and everything with the CST, AM and all that stuff. Can be very, very helpful. Another technique is when you want the date to be long, meaning you want the date to say March 20 something, something, something. All right, so you can actually do that by simply saying long. And in this case, you don't really care about the time for some reason, so you can simply say omitted. So it will only show you the date for today and time since we said omitted, it is omitted, it's not there. Sometimes we need the date, in this case, to be numeric, right? So, which is very common when you're building applications, so we can simply say numeric. And the time we don't really care about, so we can say omitted. So now it's numeric, which is usually the case when you are displaying the date. Now, apart from that, you can also do US uh, ISO 8601 formatted. So if you want that, you can simply go ahead and pass the format, which in this case can be IS, you know, ISO. So it's kind of like this. Sometimes we only care about the day. We only want to display the day. So in those cases, we can use now and then provide a particular format. Now this format can be date. Oops, let's go back over here. It's jumping around. Date dot format style. And with the format style, we can simply say that, oh, we're only interested in the day. And now it's only the day. What about if we want the day and we want the month? It's possible. If you want the day and the month, you simply say day and the month. So now you have the March 10th. Sometimes you'll say that, well, I only want the month to be like two digits or something like that. All right. So we can all again copy this part. And in the month, you can actually pass in two digits. Much nicer. And the same thing you can apply to the year. If you want the day and the month and the year, so same thing. I mean, depending on if you want the two digits or not, you can simply say year also. And now it's here. You can say maybe two digits, two digits for the year. You can say default digits. That's much like, I like that one. What about for the month? Well, month, two digits. There we go. 
So you can see that we can style this so many different ways. All right, so that is few of the functions that you can use in Swift UI to format your date time. If you like this video and want to support my channel, then the best way would be to check out my courses on Udemy. You can see I have a lot of different courses on Swift UI, including my latest course, which is building Reminders app clone using Swift UI and core data. It has great ratings, so definitely check it out. And all of these courses, you can get access to the best pricing if you simply go on my website and go to courses and all the links to the courses are there. All right, so definitely check them out and also check out my articles, my YouTube channel and other stuff. And thank you so much for your continuous support. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed it, go ahead and press that like button and also share it with other people so they can enjoy too. Thank you so much.